Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Packer Nation! Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. I really don't want all my friends to leave. Grassy, and today we're going to be talking about the news that came out yesterday about good old Devontae Adams. You know, the top two wide receiver in the league, and he's not number two. Yeah, that guy. Now, we've talked about Devontae Adams on this channel before. And uh, the context, besides being amazing, was that this is the final year of his current deal. Meaning that if the Packers are going to re-sign him, they are going to have to pay a hefty, hefty sum to Mr. Devontae Adams. And it's most likely going to make him the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. And if you want just some kind of idea of what that's going to cost, right now DeAndre Hopkins is making $27.25 million a year. So yeah, that's that's a lot of money. And DeAndre Hopkins is currently 28 years old. He's currently under contract until 2025. And it just so happens that Devontae Adams is also 28 years old. So yeah, Right off the bat, the Packers are going to have to make some numbers, do some dancing, because again, our cap space next year is almost non-existent and is already going to be a significant problem. But let's stay on task and let's not talk about cap for right this second. And let's talk about the entire saga that has to do with Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams and Devontae's comments yesterday while during an interview. Now, when he was asked about his future in Green Bay if Rodgers left, Devontae Adams said the following about Aaron Rodgers. That's my guy. That's the only guy I've had. And when asked about him potentially leaving and how that would impact him, Devontae responded, it would change a lot, man. Doesn't mean I'd be gone, but I'd definitely have to do some extra thinking if my guy wasn't here. Well, and that, uh... That plunged the dagger right into the heart of millions of Green Bay Packers fans when he said that. And all of a sudden, my DMs were filled with, oh my God, is Devontae going to leave? Now, right this second, after this season, if there's no extensions or re-signings or anything like that, Amari Rodgers, the guy who we just drafted in the third round, is going to be the only wide receiver on the team. Equinemius St. Brown, Mark Quez, Valdez, Scantling, and hell, even Devin Funches. Their contracts all are up at the end of the year. So this creates a huge problem. It was already assumed that Devontae was going to get a massive extension, but throw in this little caveat of Aaron Rodgers not being there, and maybe he just flat out denies it. It's no shock at all that Devontae Adams could command a huge contract on the free market because there's plenty of teams that would say, hey, yeah, we'll take one of the best wide receivers in the league. Thank you. And this is an aspect of the story that we haven't even really talked about with Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers in of itself is a lure for people to come over and potentially sign with the Packers. Now, of course, they have a really good team. They've gone to back-to-back -back NFC Championship games, and just like Tom Brady is chilling in Florida with his zero income tax, you know, and that's bringing a whole bunch of people there. I mean, Aaron Rodgers has that effect as well including his number one wide receiver in Devontae Adams. I would imagine if Jordan Love is going to be the QB, the Packers are going to have to throw Devontae Adams even more money than he would potentially fetch on the free market because now you don't have the reigning MVP throwing to him. So I would imagine that wouldn't be so great. So the question becomes, does a long-term Aaron Rodgers deal equal a long-term Devontae Adams deal? Both of those contracts would put the Packers cap in... Um, some precarious waters, troubling waters, if you will, because again, it would basically be mortgaging the future to try and win a championship right now, which again, I know a lot of fans are calling for, but there's a lot of risk that comes with it. Now, tack that on to the report that Ian Rappaport came out and said that the Packers have made a significant long-term contract offer to Rodgers. Is this old news? Is this new news? who even knows at this point, Bleacher Report saying that they wanted to make Aaron Rodgers the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. So there's a lot of speculation going on right now. We just don't know the answer. But this is something additionally to think about. If Aaron Rodgers doesn't re-sign with the Packers and he's gone after this year, I gotta be honest, I think that Devontae Adams might be out the door with him. Hey, they might be on the same team, so I can double cry. Great. 
But if Aaron Rodgers is going to be staying for the next, I don't know, two to five years, I would imagine a Devontae Adams contract would be in the works. Though, again, I would shiver at the idea of what that cap space is going to look like. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think the Packers are going to wind up re-signing Devontae Adams? Or do you think after this year, this is his last dance? Let me know what you think. You can always find me at TomGrassiComedy.com or at TomGrassiComedy on all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course the YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassiComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always, Go Pack Go!